Hello and welcome to today's math lesson. So first of all guys, can we all turn and say a big hello to our friends on camera. Hello. hello. And we'll begin by doing our meditation sequence. So I will sit down, take two fingers, find our heart center, left hand on our lap and close our eyes. And when you're ready guys, you can open your eyes and come back to the room. And next we'll do our stretching sequence. So let's stand up and push in our chairs. <clears throat> and let's begin by stretching up high. High to the sky. And then let's stretch down low. Touch our toes. Go back up high. And this time, can we go tippy so high? And when we're there, give a wave. And then back down, touch our toes. Hands on hips. Let's have a wiggle. Stop. Let's have another wiggle. Stop. Backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, backwards, forwards, stop. And we'll go round, round and round, stop, back the other way, back the other way, stop. And to finish, we're going to do five star jumps. One, two, Three, four, five. Excellent. Have a seat, guys. So who can tell me what we've been learning about in math lesson recently? Capacity. Capacity and... Oh. Excellent. And what we're going to continue with today is our review of capacity and volume. So capacity, how do we spell? A P A C I T Y Capacity and Volume. How do we spell volume? L U M E. Excellent, guys. Capacity and volume. Okay, so what does capacity mean? Perfect. Capacity is how much something 
M E T H I N G. Something holds. H O L D S. Capacity. Capacity. How much something holds. Volume. How much of something? So how? Excellent. So one more time. Capacity. Capacity. How much something holds. How much something holds. And volume. And volume. How much. How much. Of something. Of something. Okay. And now we'll do a visual diagram on the board. I will draw a container. Okay. So. Where does our capacity go? At the top. Here? No. Here? No. At the top. Okay. So, somebody gave me a capacity for our container. Two liters. Two liters. Okay. So, I will write. Let's see. I will write here. C A P A C I T Y. Two. And what do we write for liters? A brief. L. Capacity, two liters. Capacity, two liters. Okay, now somebody else give me a volume for our container. Okay, we have one liter or 500 milliliters. Which would you like? 500 milliliters. Okay, can volume be greater than capacity? No. No. Okay, so capacity, two liters. What goes at the bottom? Zero. Zero. So if the capacity is two liters, what would halfway be? One liter. So we can say halfway will be one liter. How many milliliters in one liter? One thousand. One thousand milliliters. And how many milliliters are we saying our volume is? So where will volume be? Will volume be up here? Where will it be? Half of one liter. Half of one liter. Excellent. 1,000 milliliters is one liter. So if we're saying our volume is 500 milliliters, it will be halfway between zero and 1,000. So I think somewhere around here, guys. Do you agree? Yes. yes? So let's say V-O-L-U-M-E. Volume? 500 ml. And then what we'll do, just to signify our volume, we will draw our water line. So Capacity, Capacity two, liters. 2 liters, volume, volume 500, 500 milliliters. milliliters. Okay, understand guys? Yes. Now I would like a volunteer. Who would like to volunteer? Down, come forward. We'll do one more. Okay. So now I will rub out our capacity. I will rub out our volume and we will keep zero. Zero is always at the bottom. I will give down the marker. Okay, so first of all guys, can you give down a capacity for our container? Any amount? One litre. A P A C I T Y capacity. capacity one liter. Okay, excellent down. Capacity always goes where? At the top. At the top. So now what do we need next? Volume. volume. Can volume be more than capacity? No. no. So can somebody give us a volume? 
250 milliliters. Okay, so let's think. 250 milliliters. Tom, one liter, how many milliliters? 1,000. So if here is 1,000 and here is zero, what will halfway be? 500 milliliters. So think again. Where will 250 milliliters be? Excellent. So volume V O L U M E. 250 milliliters. Would you like blue for water? <laughs> And then you can write your watermark across the container. Excellent. So you understand completely. What's our capacity, guys? Capacity one liter. And volume? Two hundred fifty milliliters. High five, Dan. That was great. Well done. Round of applause for Dan. So that was a brief board exercise just to refresh our memories of the relationship between capacity and volume. So one final time, capacity, capacity. How, much something holds. how much something holds, volume, volume. How, much how much of something. Can volume change? Yes. yes. Can capacity change? Can volume be more than capacity? No. Excellent, guys. Well done. <laughs> and now we're going to continue our review of capacity and volume by looking at a video and a PowerPoint presentation. So let's all turn our chairs to have a look at the TV screen, please. Capacity. And volume, too, because the two things are interrelated. So, capacity. capacity. What is capacity? What is capacity? Capacity is a measure, is a measure of, how much of how much a container, a container can, hold. can hold. We might measure, we might measure the, capacity the capacity of a bottle cup or carton, or carton. Anything, anything which can hold, which can hold something, else. something else so this carton, this carton holds, holds one liter of milk, liter of milk. what is its capacity one yes if it holds one liter of milk its capacity is Excellent, well done. Measuring capacity. We can use different equipment to measure capacity. Measuring cylinders. Measuring spoons. Measuring jug and beakers or estimating capacity when you are estimating capacity it is useful to think of containers you are familiar with and how much they contain. For example, the bottle has a capacity of two liters, but the glass can only hold half the bottle. What is the capacity of the glass? One liter. One liter. Yes, well done, guys. You can estimate by knowing how much capacity is in the bottle. Capacity, capacity 
is the total amount, the total amount that, a container that a container can hold. The bottle is full of water. The volume of water in the bottle is three liters. The bottle can hold three liters of water. So what's the capacity? The capacity of the bottle is three liters. And the capacity of this bucket is four liters. But the volume of water in the bucket is two liters. So how much more water do we need to fill the bucket? We need two more liters of water to fill up the bucket. Now let's work. Have some questions. Are you ready? The volume of water in the container is four liters. What is the possible capacity of the container? What do we think, guys? A, B, or C? C. What's the answer for C? Four liters. Four liters. Excellent. Well done. The volume of tea in the container is seven liters. What is the possible capacity of the container? Could it be more than four liters? Yes. Yes. Could it be less than six liters? No. No. It has to be more than four liters. Because seven is more than four. The bottle is full of coffee. The volume of the coffee is 400 milliliters. What is the possible capacity of the bottle? What do we think? Have a look at the... 400 milliliters, yes. Because we know that's how much volume we have already. The bottle is full of tea. The volume of the tea is 700 milliliters. What is the possible capacity of the bottle? Now have a think. We already have a volume of how much? So what could the possible capacity be? C. 700 milliliters. Container X has a capacity of 500 milliliters. Container Z has a capacity of 1,500 milliliters. So what is the total capacity? What do we need to do? Do we subtract? Do we multiply? What do we do? We add, yes. 
So has anybody got an answer? 500 millilitres plus 1,500. Are you sure? Yes. Are you really sure? Yes. Excellent. 2,000 millilitres. What else can we say about 2,000? Two litres, yes. So the total capacity of both containers is two litres. Container A has a capacity of 700 millilitres. Container B has a capacity of 1,500 millilitres. What's the total capacity of both containers? Are you sure? Yes. Are you really sure? Yes. 2,200 millilitres? Yes. That's correct. But what else can we say about 2,200 millilitres? Perfect. The total capacity of both containers is 2 litres and 200 millilitres. Container D has a capacity of 100 millilitres. Container E has a capacity of 2,500 millilitres. What's the total capacity of both? Are you sure? Yes. Are you really sure? Yes. Are you really, really sure? Excellent, guys. But what can we say about 2,600 millilitres? 2,600 millilitres. Brilliant. So the total capacity of both containers is 2 litres and 600 millilitres. Last one. Container A has a capacity of 1,500 millilitres. Container B has a capacity of 750 millilitres. What's our total? Total capacity of both? Addition, yes. What do we do? You have an answer. 1,500 plus 750. Are you sure? Yes. Are you really sure? Yes. But are you really, really sure? Yes. Excellent, guys. 2,250 millilitres or 2 litres, 250 millilitres. <coughs> Any questions? No. Well done. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the video and the PowerPoint presentation about capacity and volume. And now we can work out the different amounts, one based on the other. And now it's time for our stretching sequence. So let's stand up guys and push in our chairs. And let's start rotating our wrists.
move our wrists and then we can go back can we do one forward and one back at the same time it's quite hard <laughs> and then swap this is a good exercise for when we're going to write give our wrists an exercise and then shake our arms hands on hips let's roll our shoulders and then let's go back let's roll the other way and stand up straight let's walk on the spot let's have a little jog quickly stop turn left turn left again turn left turn left again now we should be at the front and now it's jog again quickly stop turn right turn right turn right turn right again and this time to finish we will do five claps one two three four five excellent guys have a seat and now teachers it's time for our worksheet activity so what you will need to do is you will need to print off one worksheet for each of your students and what your students need to do is they need to look at the different questions and decide which of the amounts is capacity and which of the amounts is volume you will see there are spaces after each amount and students have to write in the word capacity or volume and the one thing to remember guys the key to this exercise volume, volume. can never be greater, be greater than, capacity. than capacity so always remember your capacity will be your larger amount or on one of the questions they can be the same if the volume is full to capacity volume and capacity are the same so what's the first thing we need to do guys give our students around 12 minutes for this activity because they have to think and write a few words on each question so Nadia there you go Pat. <coughs> Lack out. you're welcome thank you you're welcome you're welcome okay you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome Ned so first thing guys write your names on top and then we'll have a look at the first question like you see for number one what's the first amount what's the second amount so which is larger so capacity will be larger than volume yes if we have one amount 1000 milliliters it will be capacity and the smaller amount 750 milliliters would be volume okay so you see you have an amount here 750 milliliters 750 milliliters what's this amount 100 not hundreds Milliliters. Mm, Which one is bigger? One thousand or seven fifty? One thousand. So remember, capacity is always larger than volume. Okay? Always remember, guys, when we're looking at capacity and volume amounts, capacity will be more. Unless they are both the same on one of your questions they're the same because 
if the capacity is full, then the volume will be the same as capacity. Okay. Excellent. So you see, what's this word? 750 milliliter is volume. 1,000 milliliter is capacity. Perfect. So what's our next amount, number two? One liter and five liter. So which is bigger? One liter. So which will be capacity? One liter. Perfect. Well done. Excellent. We, we have one litre. Empty. Yes. Okay, so what's this amount? Yes, the final one. So if they're the same, they can both be. If volume is here, they can be the same. So, volume capacity, up to you. So we can say. 750 milliliter is volume. And 1000 milliliter is capacity. Excellent. Welcome back to class. We hope your students enjoyed the worksheet activity and where they had to work out which of the various amounts were capacity and which were volume. And the important thing to remember, volume can never be greater than capacity. But on one question, they're the same. Because if the capacity is full, then the volume will be the same too. So, that's the end of our lesson. We hope you've had a good time and found it interesting too. And we'll see you again for the next lesson really soon. So can we turn to wave and say goodbye, guys? Goodbye. Bye-bye.